Counsel is the practice of telling your story and it's deep listening. I'm a licensed marriage family therapist and I'm also an educator. So the art of storytelling is an opportunity for you to become this alternative story. Counsel is this beautiful practice of being able to envision that new story and have support around becoming that which you want. But it's a way to really feel deeply heard which nowadays people aren't. I'm a medical physician. I practice at Los Robles Hospital. Especially in medicine, we tend to listen to people in order to get information that we want. So we interrupt them when they aren't yet saying the thing that we need them to say. Counsel instead is a place where you get to sit and listen to people's whole story. So just being able to sit in a circle and practice being able to listen puts you in a position where when you're with your patients, you listen differently. As a clinician, it's a beautiful tool to use with couples. A lot of couples come in around being heard and really deeply listened to. Holding a talking piece is very profound because you're not planning what you're going to say and you're making sure that you're attending and focusing on the other person to really do some mindful deep listening and then you can find yourself telling your story. The way that I have learned to listen shows up when I am interacting with my patients. The way that I have learned how to bring every voice into a room shows up when there's family around the bedside and I realize that there's someone who's not yet been able to say what they want to say. A lot of families want a family meeting every week and everyone's interrupting and not listening. So just having that ritual and the practice of dedicating the, the time together, then using the talking piece, then having a prompt, uh, it's a beautiful practice as a family. being able to get in touch with my feelings and my emotions and being able to feel comfortable sharing a lot of the past traumas in my life and things that I didn't feel comfortable or didn't even know how to talk about. Counsel helped teach me that and it's really benefited me in all aspects of my life today. I have a son that is uh, homeless. He lives a block from me in Los Angeles and he's very angry. Once I started attending counsel, I found that communication is the key to listening to why he is homeless in the first place. And that's helping us to establish a relationship. It's one of the first times I ever got to really be open and honest with myself and to let my guard down and feel really comfortable around other people. Now when I have conversations or when I interact with other people, I try to put myself in their shoes and understand what they're going through or be more empathetic to their situations. Once I started listening and learning to listen, uh, to other people's stories, I began to learn how to empathize with what they had to say. And I found that we're really not that much different after all. Being able to see both sides of the story and being able to understand where everybody came from. In the end, we're still human beings. Most of us that are in, in prison have a, have a struggle with emotions. I knew for me, I didn't understand anything but anger. So being in here, I learned how to feel, just genuinely feel someone's story, feel someone's pain. A lot of times in prison, you'll mock someone who shows weakness. And in here, it's almost like a strength to see, man, that guy's hurting, but he's willing to put it out there. There's no group on the yard that makes me feel the comfort that counsel does. It actually builds my confidence and gets me comfortable with, uh, with who I really am. It's truly helped me on my path. I've learned so much about like human emotion and the things that I just was completely disconnected from. Uh, even like body language of people and like when they're hurting without them saying it. I think that was probably the first place I've seen tears. Like we're in a prison environment where someone was allowing themselves to be vulnerable like that. But I finally got to a place for me, I was like, man, that dude's healing. Like that's what's happening. Like he is not caring about the, anyone in this room to the point of like he's trusting the, the circle to be vulnerable and to let those tears out and let that like that pain and trauma out like you can't make that up you can't there's no script for it it's authentic i work in treatment so uh i i just noticed for me and like my experiences with the, the clients who come in uh it would be like real easy for me to like go full blast, treat them poorly because they're struggling. Like the old me would have been like, dude, man up, shut up. Get in the, dude, you have meds. Like you have all these things I didn't have, get with it. Now I just, I'm a, I, like I can truly hear them. Like, and it's not their words, it's like they're hurt. 
it, it has slowed everything down for me with them to like where I, I truly feel like I excel at my job because of counsel. Like I really do because I can empathize, I can understand, like I, I can speak from the heart with my experience and I, I just feel like without this class I would not be nearly as effective with my work. It's been really powerful for me personally in my life. My children have been raised with it. It's transformed my life as a mother, as an educator, as a therapist. It's, it's in me now. This will probably be the best training you'll take for yourself. I think there are a lot of continuing education credits that teach you about your profession. This is going to teach you about yourself and about how you can be of benefit in your work to other people.